How you doing? You doing all right? I'm just checking in on you. A lot of you guys went through a pretty wicked separation and divorce this year in 2021. And pandemic stuff didn't help. I think that just added to the anxiety of everything. But how are you doing? How are you doing? Are you hanging in there? Are you learning to create a new normal for yourself? Are you doing what I said, getting you back and not trying to get her back? For you guys that are Christian, you probably appealed to a pastor or a marriage counselor or something like that. How'd that work out for you? Nine times out of ten, that doesn't work. Although, why do people so quickly refer others to that when 90% of it doesn't work? I'll never understand especially in a situation where the woman files for divorce. I'll never forget a counselor telling me when, almost 20 years ago, when trying to reconcile, he says his exact words were, and I've parroted these words often, that is a tough debt to collect, his exact words. Never forget that, and I will pass that on to you. Your goal right now is to get you back, not get her back. If you have kids, stay in your children's lives. I know you went from dad to uncle every other weekend. It's weird, isn't it? Isn't that weird? Like where you're tucking your kids into bed one night and then and then you don't see them for two weeks. You know, and, and then... You need permission and agreement to change anything. If you're going to be late, if you have to change a day, you can't make any changes without the court or you'll be in contempt of court. Dude, I know how you feel. Been there, done that. And I know things have gotten worse since I was in that system. Probably your best bet If you're not one of these amicable... Oh, we have an amicable divorce. Okay, if you have that, great, then this is not for you. But the reality is this. Is that most people don't. And there is conflict. And the goal is to get you... Look at the woman wants you out of her life. That's how it works. But the reality is, she wants to get you out of everyone's lives, even the kids. Let's not kid ourselves. If she got news that you died, that you hung yourself, that you overdosed, that you shot yourself, if she got news of that, that would make her very happy. And she'd explain it as a weakness to the kids. That's why I tell men, she's trying to destroy you. She's trying to destroy you and beat you down. You are always on the defensive when you go to court. I don't care if the woman is a prostitute crackhead. The man will be on the defensive when he goes to court. That's just the way the American court system is. It's not fair. And shame on the judges that perpetuate this nonsense. Shame on them. They don't deserve any respect. None whatsoever. But let's get back to, how are you doing? How are you doing? Are you sleeping okay? Are you drinking more? Are you using substances more? Do you have a revolving door on your bedroom? What are you doing to numb the pain? What are you doing to change the channel? What are you doing to get your mind on other things? I know it bothers you. I know that. I know that. Your sleep is whacked up. You're eating quick, fast food. You might be drinking more. 
actually now is a great time to kind of turn that around. Especially if this happened in the past year, turn that around. Like, I won't say decrease the alcohol. Dare I say completely stop the alcohol. Not in the sense that, hi, my name is George, I'm an alcoholic. You know, like that kind of stopping the alcohol. I'm talking about just stop the alcohol. Stop it. Pour it down the drain. Get rid of it. And don't lean on it. If you need to sleep, get up super early three days in a row by the fourth I'm talking like get up at 4 a.m. 3 30 a.m. by the time eight or nine o'clock comes you're going to be so tired there will be no insomnia the other thing is you can also take various herbal supplements to help you sleep that don't have any withdraw effects, there's no addiction, there's, and there's a number of things. You could have everything from chamomile tea to valerian root to melatonin, ashwagandha, a lot of things that help calm you. Are you watching TV or surfing your phone and then you go to sleep? Learn to kind of let your brain come in for a landing, like the last hour. No video, no TV, lights down low. Don't watch TV in bed. Brother, listen, I'm just trying to help you because I know it's hard for you and you got to reinvent yourself. And you can do this at any age. I don't care if you are 30. I don't care if you are 60. It can be done. It can be done. As far as dating is concerned, dating and sex, you've heard me say this. I think it's better to meet a woman for a cup of coffee or tea than to meet her for a drink. Because you're not going to be the real you with alcohol. She's not going to be the real her with alcohol. So what it is is two, two masked people trying to tell each other about each other. It just doesn't work. Not good. It's just not a good thing. Meet earlier in the day. Meet earlier in the night. Learn how to spend time by yourself. That alone right there is probably one of the best pieces of advice I can give you. If you've never been a reader, what a great time to start doesn't have to be intellectual stuff. It can be comic books. I don't care if you got a stack of comic books or graphic novels. Take up pipe smoking. I like pipe smoking because it's super relaxing. There's literally protocol. There is literally a way to do it. There's a way to perfect it. There And it's it is a calming protocol, and it's a protocol of mindfulness. It literally, literally takes your mind off your problems. And then if you take a puff of the pipe and the smoke is rising, you can like imagine that that's your problem, just disappearing into the air. Sounds weird. Nothing magical about it. It's just a form of mindfulness taking your mind off of that which is slowing you down. It's like, did you ever drive with an emergency brake on? You're wondering why the car is not accelerating the way it should. And then you look over and you see that the car or truck, that the emergency brake is on or it's pulled up. That's what's happening right now with you. Take off the emergency brake. Take it off. You will operate in life much easier. And don't walk around with a big sign on your neck that says divorced. Don't do that. Not everybody has to know your story. I'm just saying. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. 
if you happen to need coaching, you want to work one-to-one -one with somebody, let me know. We can do five sessions. We can do 20 sessions. If you need one phone call to put your head on straight, we can do that too. There is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong with talking to somebody objectively who's not personally involved. I have nothing to gain or lose. And after talking with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people over many decades who are dealing with the exact same thing you're dealing with, I can identify patterns that are unhealthy. I can, I can identify patterns that are healthy. I can tell you the things that you're doing right. Many times when you're in a situation like this, you really just want someone to tell you what to do. Literally, tell me what to do. That's what you're going through. You don't want to explore issues, all this like therapy and all this nonsense. I was a therapist. No more therapy here. No more therapy. If you're interested, just shoot me an email, gb at georgebruno.com. If not, just stay watching my videos. There's answers in there. Just start making your way through my videos. And I address a lot of great issues, things that could really help you out. A lot of practical things and a lot of mindset things. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. You will. Okay? Let me give you a little fist bump here.